Hello friends, this is a trending topic today, COVID-19 and the BCG vaccine. The most important question is, does this BCG vaccine gives any protection against COVID-19? Let's see why this question came in the first place. This is a statistic from John Hopkins University as on 5th April and these are the top 5 countries having high number of COVID positive cases. These 5 countries alone together contributes to 60% of all the cases in the world. This is surprising because these 5 countries contributes only to 7.5% of the total world population but has 60% of the caseload. And more surprising fact is that these 5 countries together had reported about 70% of the all the deaths in the world due to COVID-19. So 7% of the world population sharing about 70% of the total deaths. And this is the important puzzle and the scientists everywhere are trying to find answer to this. And one group of researchers from USA have published this study in this particular journal. They have found that correlation between BCG vaccination policy of country and morbidity and mortality due to COVID-19. More specifically, if a country had a universal vaccination policy, then the country had lesser morbidity and mortality due to COVID-19. Once this study is published, it was there all over the news everywhere and thus the question became important. So the question is now, can a world vaccine stop the new coronavirus? Let's see first um, what the study says, most important findings in the study. So the x-axis is the deaths per million inhabitants attributed to COVID-19. This first part of the y-axis is lower middle income countries. And the remaining two is the upper and uh, upper middle income and high income put together. And they have not specifically uh, compared with this lower middle income countries because though they had a universal BCG policy, there could be many other differences in the health infrastructure and other things. So they have used this upper middle and high. These countries had a universal BCG vaccination policy and these countries did not have. And they found a significant difference uh, between the death deaths due to COVID-19, the countries which had a BCG vaccination policy did not have so much death as compared to the countries which did not have. And another important finding is that cases per million, not only the mortality, the number of cases are significantly higher in the countries which did not have any universal BCG vaccination. This is the lower middle income countries which has still have a very low number of cases as of today. So uh, we all know that correlation doesn't mean causation and the numbers are changing every day and there are so many other confounding variables and we don't know whether this data is transparent, you know, whether the, all the country has truly given all the data. So even though there are so many uh, variables which are uh, yet to be proven, many countries has taken this um, issue seriously. For example, this is a study, this is proposed in Australia, it's called BRACE study. This is BCG vaccination to protect healthcare workers against COVID-19. They have recruited about 4,000 healthcare workers. It's a phase three, two group multicentric open label randomized control trial of BCG vaccination uh, whether it is put going to protect against COVID-19 or not. So once the results of this study comes out it will give lots of answer what we are asking today. But what is this, why this BCG vaccine came up here first of all? What are the basics of the BCG vaccine? Uh, it's called Bacillus calmet Goarin. It is primarily given for protection against tuberculosis. It is a live attenuated strain of Mycobacterium bovis. And these two are the scientists who uh, developed this vaccine from this particular strain. And this, or this strain actually infects the cows from which they have developed this attenuated strain of BCG vaccine. And we know that it not only protects against tuberculosis, but also against the related mycobacteria like leprosy and other non-tuberculous mycobacterium. And apart from um, many other reasons, most important reason why today 
countries are jumping into a trial with this PCG vaccine is because we know that it is safe, it is cheap and it is available. That is one of the reasons people are not even waiting for a specific vaccine and they are just giving a try with the old 100 year old vaccine with the new coronavirus. Apart from safety, BCG has been shown to provide a lot of immunomodulatory effects, especially with relevant to autoimmunity and cancer immunomodulators. So uh, the in autoimmunity, the two important diseases are type 1 diabetes and multiple sclerosis. In type 1 diabetes, when BCG vaccination given, it induces apoptosis of T cells, which are autoreactive, so thereby decreasing the HbA1c level. And in multiple sclerosis, the active lesions in the CNS decreases and there is an increase in T regulatory cells and decrease in TH17 positive cells. And also in cancer immunotherapy, it has been tried in melanoma. When injected into the lesion, the tumor regresses. Again, same with the bladder cancer. It augments the antigen presentation by the cancer cell itself. So when the cancer cell starts presenting the cancer antigens, the, the body's cells can recognize it easily and kills them. So there is a decrease in tumor progression. So these immunomodulatory effects are already known, which BCG has. And most important one, what is important for our COVID-19, immunity against COVID-19 is something called as trained immunity. The trained immunity is a non-specific response to a secondary infection and this is mediated by innate immunity so giving a bcg vaccine sort of augments this innate immune system which will help in fighting against not only the mycobacteria but also other bacteria and viruses and this is the reason uh, when uh, bcg vaccination given there is a decrease in infant mortality rate not only due to tuberculosis related uh, infection but also any other respiratory infection and all cause mortality in a infants are decreased when they have a BCG vaccination. And this trained immunity is mediated uh, by this monocyte macrophages and the natural killer cells. Specifically, when BCG vaccination, of, vaccination is given, it stimulates epigenetic changes by modification of the histone proteins and changes the expression of genes, uh, which comes in response to an environmental signal. So after BCG vaccination given, there is a increased release of pro-inflammatory cytokines from monocyte and the natural killer cells, which could be helping in fighting against this COVID-19. So uh, this is the uh, one. Of, this is actually known uh, phenomena. So this could be one of the reason, which, uh, which that's why the BCG could be effective against COVID-19 also. But still the situation is developing. We don't know all the information. Uh, if you have any query, leave it in the comment. These are my references. Thanks for watching.